I'm Colin and I am sitting here with Emily Zami. Hey, how's Hi, it going? Emily Zami are here in the Thekla in Bristol tonight, which is a boat. So how does it feel to be on a boat first of all? It feels awesome. Yeah. Darn cool. Yeah. I haven't played anything like this. Yeah. So um, last night you began like the UK, the, uh, you know, Leggy at all, and um, I hear there was like some kind of restriction, like under 18s couldn't get in. So um, and I heard you um, compromised for that. So I'm going to give you a little bit about that. Yeah. So there, I actually was walking back to the gig from where we were staying, and uh, I ran into three different groups of people who either forgot their IDs or weren't 18 and couldn't get into the show. And so I was. I felt so bad because they all had tickets already. And so I asked Max if there was any way we could uh, we could compensate for that. He's like, Yeah, let's do an acoustic. Uh, like, like, let's do a set for them outside. And so we uh, we played a bunch of songs for them outside and signed whatever they wanted to sign. Uh, and actually, Joey had a brilliant idea to to um, to get them on the guest list for our next London show. So that's happening next Friday. That's very nice of you to do that. Uh, anyway, um, so you're on your UK tour right now, so how are you finding the UK? Because it's like the only good weather it's ever had like in a year, so you were very lucky to tour this time, so how are you finding it? Like? It's pretty, man. I, I've never been to Bristol. It's like a pretty town. I can see it outside these windows right now. The UK in general is just obviously a very different vibe and it works differently. We almost got hit by a car yesterday because it looked the wrong way when we were crossing the street. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, we've, we've, most of us have been here before, but never as a band. So as a band, it's very different. The crowd is different, but it's fun. So um, you put out an album like a few months ago called Loss of 17, and I noticed like kind of like a more aggressive sound to it. It's kind of like a change from Don't Be a Dick, and it's quite, it, you've crammed like 16 songs onto it. So how was the approach to this album different to Don't Be a Dick? It was a lot more technical. So uh, I know Joey, Joey played with Click this time, and last time he didn't. You can definitely tell if you listen back to "Don't Be a Dick" that we don't that we didn't use a metronome, uh, but and it was impossible to make a music video for it too. But uh, we used a click this time, and we would we just uh, practice our parts a lot more, try to get everything tightened up, uh, because we are really proud of the songs that are on this album, and we we are really stoked to have the opportunity to put out this second album. And this. Um, so the concept of the war music video, like you picked that as the lead single off the album, like why did you decide that should be like the lead song for people to hear and um, also a bit of a story behind the music video? Um, well we released Avenue as kind of like our announcement to like Rise Records and stuff like that. And then because our because like we were saying like we have so many songs on the album, we wanted to show kind of a contrast. And so we put out Avenue, which was really a kind of like to poppy, and then we put out war. Which was uh, out when it was written by Max and Boris and by Paul, so we kind of showed two different uh, lyric styles and then also two different song styles. Um, War is kind of more you know, rock and billy. I don't know how would you describe it. Yeah, it just it moves differently. Like, dum, 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 dum. And, then, and then we thought, like, hey, our friends at school can make music videos for no money. So why don't we just get some, a group of guys together, and like, or even girls, and just go out and film, uh, film a video for free. It, it, you know, I like that whole homemade look that, like, yeah. you know, it was punk, you know what I mean? So, and um, I noticed you were the only one, Joe, you didn't change instruments, like everyone else was... I know, I realized that after you know, <laughs> someone was like, oh, I should have switched with you, and I was like, oh yeah, it's totally free. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, a, a revolving lineup of Andy's eye, except Joe, you remain the yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, have you got any more plans for, like, further singles from Lost of 17, like, new music videos? Don't be a dick, you only have the one music video I think and um, on this album like do you have plans for more and more videos? We're actually going to release a song, uh, music video for The Rescuers probably in the next couple of days. May I see best Hopefully. track on the album? Yes, you, you think so? I think so, man. it's called the biggest chorus. Man. It is we, like so. we actually spent money on this one so it's, we have like a, uh, it's a little bit, there's a little bit more nicer cameras and everything. Hopefully you like it. It should come out in the next couple of days for sure and then also we plan to do a lot more homemade videos I, I think we should, yeah. towards the end of the, like, within, through that. I mean, we've been filming kind of, we have pictures and film from, like, the majority of these shows that we've been doing. So I think it'd be cool to kind of get a little montage together. We should do, like, a surf video from Part Time Bum. That's what we're going to do that. Do you have, like, a amount of music videos you'd like to do from this album? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I think, like, four or five would be good. Um, so, um, 
albums. You've got so many songs now, you've got like 14 off the first album, 16 off the second album, and like so many more songs keep coming, you keep writing, so how do you decide to pick a set list for like songs you play half hour show with songs you play an hour? Like how does it become like tricky now they've got like if you go to the math like that? It's 30 songs there? Yeah. It's tricky. Yeah. Um, we we try to since the new album just came out, we try to keep it to like 75% new songs and then 25% old songs. But last year when we had it come out last in 17, but we were still playing last in 17 songs, it was more of a half and half and that got really real tricky. It, it's hard, man. Like, you gotta figure out how the crowd, you gotta predict how the crowd is gonna react at a certain point of the set. It's, it's like, how are you supposed to tell the future? Like last night we, uh, we played one set list, but then tonight, like there's some songs we won't play or we'll change the order just on how people react to last night. So, yeah. so um, like obviously being in a band the your age, you started at like, was it like 15, 16 average, you like kind of got into like putting out an album, that sort of thing, so like, how was it? I assume you were still in school at the time, so how, how were you treated at school being like, you've got a record deal, you've got a music video out, you've got like 100,000 views on the internet, like, were you kind of like treated differently, like by your schoolmates and stuff, or was it like, it remained the same? It remained the same, like, it was, honestly, like, I still, we all still go to school. Uh, they, they're about to go to college, I'm going to high school still. Uh, and it's, like around school, it's funny because sometimes somebody will notice like, that we got 200,000 views on our music video and they're like, whoa. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> other than that, it's, it's just we're, we're normal kids, so. Um, so, um, there's a song on your album titled Digital Drugs and we have seen them added like new instruments on your horns on it. So like who did you get to play your horns and what came to the decision? Sebastian over there, he plays Sebastian, the come in the camera frame. <laughs> it's the, also, it's, um, it's, it's birthday. Sad his birthday today. Well, we've got to excuse me. This man plays horns on digital drugs, sit there, go around. So um, how was your experience playing horns on digital drugs birthday boy? It was just a blast, you know, uh, they invited me to come join the band, or not join the band, but play with them uh, last year at the end of the year. And uh, they uh, asked me to maybe play on their new album, and I got to hang out in the studio with them a little bit and record with them. It was just one of the funniest experiences I had uh, for my senior year. One, two, three. Happy yeah. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday to you. You put, um, I believe, um, the kids just want to dance as a cover, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, um, like, what was the decision to put that track on the record, like, cover among, like, a load of originals? Well, uh, we've been playing that song for, for a while now. We actually put out a uh, kind of a music video for it a, a year or so back, and we just love that song. Um, Fast Cars have been really, really cool to us. They've been really nice to us, um, and that song's just so good. And so we're like, oh, we have to play this. It's cool because it totally, it, even though we didn't write it, it's, it feels as if we're speaking for ourselves. And it's cool that they wrote a song like that that can be used throughout generations. Kind of song. Yeah, it fits right in the album, Joe. You know. And I, I like a word from you, you said a word that's all um. Yeah, well, it kind of goes <laughs> with the whole. Uh, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right. But it goes with the vibe of the album. It's like a very like young song. Even though it is older, it's been, it's been released for a while now, but it kind of goes with our whole theme of the album of like the change from the young to old. And you know, it works. It gets the people going. I agree. <laughs> So, so I'm obviously you have an association because your father's in like a popular rock band group. And they said, does that kind of like the association? Of course, it's positive, but does it like frustrate you because it's often a comparison, often like an interview question, like now? So, I think yeah. it used to frustrate us, but at this point, like either either people like us or they don't, and you just gotta take it for what it is. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like it's like what can you do? You know, we're, I mean, I'm, we, we all like playing music. It's not we're forced to play music. And so um, it's just cool that like, my dad and I get to both experience music in similar ways, um, just by the way that we love playing. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, if people don't listen to us because of that, then, I mean, 
that's okay. And if people hate on us because of that, that's okay. But I mean, <clears throat> people will come to our shows and enjoy, enjoy how we play, and that's awesome. Yeah, we're lucky enough to, get to do what we love a lot. Yeah. So. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so, uh, so it's not so much a question, it's more a statement. Like, I respect what you do in the sense. You could easily just write the bat, you know, like, oh, Dad, can we go on tour with you? Just like get your name out there through them. Instead, you're doing it from yourself. You're building yourself from the ground up. You're doing your own tours. You, you know, doing everything yourself. You're not depending on the resources you have. You're doing it like any other band would. So, you know, I respect that you're um, climbing the mountain the way you should. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, thank you. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, um, last question now. Is there any existing like footage, say, before, like, I, I assume I heard you've been playing together since you were a lot younger. Yeah. And so, um, is there any like existing footage from when you were like, you, you know, before I was on yeah. you, like you guys jamming together? Like, yeah, we uh, actually filmed our whole first show. What year was that? Uh, 2009. When can we? 2008. Is there a video available of that? Yeah, we're gonna try to. We'll try to get that out. It's at our friend. Our friend recorded it, and uh, he lives in New York right now. So we'll try to get it from him. We also have the very first recording we ever did when we were. Uh, that was 10 years ago. So, Is that on your computer? Uh, no, it's on my one at home. But yeah, uh, we're gonna try to. We'll release that some at some point someday. Someday. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much, Emily. Is there any last words for the camera to? Um, uh, just go okay, with hate, up with love. Yeah, yes. I like it. I like it. Yes, don't be a dick. Yeah, don't be a dick. And just make sure to check out uh, our new music video that should be coming out any day now. Yeah. And Lost of the Seventh Team, the second album out now. Yeah. And um, they'll see you on tour. Yeah. yeah. See you. Thank you very much, Emily's Army. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Colin Hughes signing out. Goodbye. Say bye. 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 Adios.